I will be talking about how the African Union operates. It's not a very difficult organization to explain. There are four branches, the legislative, executive, judicial, and the military. A legislative branch, I would say, is the most important. It consists of the Pan-African Parliament, which is 270 members from each of the 54 African countries, five from each country. They meet in Johannesburg. Amongst them, themselves, they elect the Council of minister, Ministers about education, transport, social rights, and so, so, so on. The Justice Minister is responsible for uh, as for the court system, as well as the African human rights system, which consists, which consists of, as I previously mentioned, the four human rights issues of the African Union, the African Commission on Peoples, the African, uh, the African Charter of Peoples and Human Rights, the Maputo Protocol on Rights of Women, the African Charter of Rights of Child, the African New Charter, and the African Charter of Rights of the Muslim Child, enforced by the African Commission on Peoples' Rights of Menjal Gambia, and the African Court of Peoples' Rights in Arusha, Tanzania. Now, there are five judges on the African Court of Peoples and Human Rights, as the last I remembered. Current, there are, there are Afatu Zagugu, Agaguras, which is how Algerian, Silva Ore, he was a Bori, Elza Noare, who's Nigerian, uh, Duncan Tambala, who's Malawian, and Bernard Ngopi, who's South African. Um, and uh, the military minister is, in for, is in responsible for enforcing, well, the four or three branches of the African military, the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. And then, of course, a standard um, Army, Navy, Air Force hierarchy applies. Now, among these council ministers, they want themselves a, a chairperson of the council ministers, who at this time, who at this time making this video is Nicola Zani Domini Zuma, and she's South African.